Hey, what's up people? So today I'm going to make a quick video showing how to set up a MIDI cable, your device, in my case I'm using a Pod HD Pro X, and your computer using Logic or some other program to do automatic MIDI patch changes. Because uh, I've never really seen a clear video out there on how to do this, and I know I have some friends and people interested in learning how to do it, so I'm going to make a quick video just clearly showing you how to set the process up. So for this, there's a couple things that you're going to need. First off, you're going to need your multi-effects processor. Again, in my case, I'm using the Pod HD. Can't really see it, but it says Pro X, so I'm using that. You're going to need a computer with a DAW. In my case, I'm using Logic Pro X here on my computer or on my Mac, whatever. Um, and then the other thing you're going to need is one of these. Let me see if I can pull this out. Uh, a MIDI to USB cable. So here is part of the one that I got and I can post the link in the description it cost me like nine bucks super cheap uh, very affordable and it works really well uh, and basically all you're gonna need to do to set this up is you're not gonna have to worry about the end that says let me see what this says you're not gonna worry about the end that says in you're just gonna worry about the end that says out and you're gonna place that in the MIDI in jack so you're putting it in the MIDI in jack in your processor because you know you're sending a MIDI signal out of your computer through the cord and into the processor in. Took me a little bit to figure that out because for a while I had it in the out for some reason uh, and it just is weird. So anyways, that's how you're going to set that up. Now for the fun part of actually setting up the patch change. So what I originally thought was that you would have to go and just make a patch a lane and that you would just type in your notes here but that is not the case so what you're actually gonna do instead I'm just gonna I'm gonna start this fresh real quick just so you can really follow along so in my case like I said I'm using Logic Pro X but you can use something else let me get that good alright so I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna make a new uh, lane and I'm gonna choose external MIDI and you're gonna wanna set the output to just whichever uh, whatever your device is you know so mine is set to USB 2.0 MIDI it's set to port 2 I don't think that really matters um, but just to be specific I'm doing port 2 and then out of the all the options I'm just doing one so you got that set up go ahead and hit create next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to create a lane so you can go to the pencil tool and draw in a little lane whoops that's fine let me just go ahead and spread it out real quick. So next, I'm pulling up the piano roll. So like I said, you would think that you type in the changes here, but that is not the case. So instead, you're going to go to the step editor, and there's all these other options. Uh, so you're going to want to go down to program right here. So basically, whenever it's changing the patches on the actual pod, that is called a program change. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go back to the pencil tool. I'm going to write to program. If I'm able, oh wait, hold on, I gotta select the pencil tool there. So I'm gonna write one there. And now let me show you real quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this right here. So I've got the program. I'm drawing it up and down. So see, I'm going up and down. And let me show you this. If I can get it nice and clear. There we go. So I'm gonna do that same thing again, draw it up and down. And you can see as I go up, 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 or down, 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 it automatically changes, which is just what you're looking for. Um, so the way that this works is basically just starting with, I guess, one, uh, yeah, I believe with one, it just correlates to the number one A bank, or one A setting in whatever bank you're using. Uh, so that's pretty much it right there. So you'll just, you know, for the start of my song, whoops, sorry, I'm going to set it to the preferred setting, if I can get it specific and I mean you can like kind of type this to get it right or whatever but yeah anyway so I'll just set it to that and then I'll just go through my song to the point where I need it to change and I can change it to whatever else and that is it so that's like a pretty quick rundown of how to set that up uh, hopefully that was clear and makes sense wasn't too confusing or anything uh, so if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments or message me or whatever and I will try and answer them the best I can and until then have a good afternoon.